go. Hey everybody, it's Matt with Natural Chemist. Today is the day after Christmas, so we're already hard back at work. Uh, we did take a day off. Uh, right now we're doing uh, alpine fur, or subalpine fur, the same thing. But um, we already ran one, one uh, distillation. I just want to show you, yeah, loading the, the still. So actually in my still there is a basket below that, but I can't find a basket that fits the same size as this. So we use one basket and then put the just loose and pack it as tight as we can. How many trees did it? Oh yeah, um, so yesterday we did 15 trees, uh, you know, tree limbs in this. And so it's what, and we got two ounces, which is not what I'm expecting. I'm expecting more. We had a, a mishap. Um, my dad said he would run the, the still while I was off, uh, doing more trees. And, uh, anyways, there was a, it overflowed the, the collection valve and we lost all the, the oil went out the top. So, um, this will be the first run where I watch it from start to finish and, and we'll see how many ounces of oil we get. Um, what I, I think I might do though, is I might put, I did chip this up so I could get more volume in this and I might put the chip stuff on top here so loose limbs and the, or packed limbs and then the chip stuff on top so here I'm gonna go grab that and uh, um, yeah we'll, we'll, I'll start it restart the video when uh, we get the still running and collecting oil and so you guys can see that I also am gonna head over to the tree lot and uh, start chipping trees which I'll show you guys that as well all right guys thanks Okay guys, I know it's uh, real loud, but uh, what we're doing is, is after, after we limb all these trees, um, then what I'm gonna do is, I take them from here, put them in this bin, and then chip them. So, like right there, you can see all the molds that we made, so. Anyways, from here, this is what will go into the still and uh, be turned into essential oil. So it's, it's quite the process, actually, uh, to uh, get you guys uh, the alpine fur essential oil. Actually, any of the oils. I got grand fur, I got noble fur, and dug fur to do. So, all right, guys, wish me luck. Thank you guys for watching. Guys, we're back at... Uh my parents place where my sill is so after all the chipping we got we ended up with uh, two two bins pretty well full of uh, chips okay and then um, I'll show you guys what we got for oil so it's been um, when we started this is 1045 it's a little afternoon so there it is there's the oil. Let's try to zoom in on it. Um, so what I'll do is run for a little bit longer and then um, um, I'll filter that, take out any of the impurities that come across or whatever, and um, we'll bottle it, label it, and uh, get it up on the website. Now, this oil here, guys, um, again, really strong in alpha and beta pinene. Um, but there's a sweetness to this oil that is really nice. I really enjoy this oil um, quite a bit. So um, I can still see actually oil coming out of the of the still. You can kind of see it. Let's see if I hold it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like you can see a little oil right on the edge here coming across. So there is still oil coming across. And so, um, yeah, and then I usually, this this is, um, I collect actually, I do collect the hydrosols. Um, all the wood scents usually I, I bottle and um, save for hunters who like to spray it on themselves for hunting. So I will bottle even this hydrosol, it is nice. It's a lot lighter of a scent obviously, but still pretty good all right guys um when i'm done i don't know I'm, 
if you guys want to see the bottling process, I'll show you that. And um, it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, but not too bad. I mean, I'm going to have, I think, three more runs of Alpine. Then we're going to switch over to uh, Doug and Grand and Noble first. So I got quite a bit more uh, runs to do. But not today because I actually got to go run some errands later today. So, plus it's cold out. All right, guys. Thank you.